Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today insha'Allah we recite before you in Urdu Na'am And insha'Allah before we go on to the Na'at we like to give a little gist of These praises of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Composed by the famous Urdu poet uh, Allama Iqbal So Allama Iqbal says Jaha roza'e pake khayrul warahe That over there is the blessed Rawda Mubarakah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the best of creation is currently laying. And Allama Iqbal mentions these few couplets as he himself is in Medina Munawwara. He then says after that, وَجَنَّتْ نَهِيهِتُ فِرْ وَرْكِيَاهِ That if that itself is not a piece of Jannah, then what exactly would be or would, would, would qualify as a piece of Jannah? And we know that in a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that particular area between my qabr and my member is a piece or a garden from among the gardens of Jannah. Thereafter he says, Kaha me kaha ye madine ki galia, that where am I, where is my status, my lowly status, and where is, where is the status of the streets and gullies of Madina Munawwara? Ye kismat nahi hai to fir or kya hai? That if this is just, if, if this is not taqdeer, me being in this Mubarak land, someone as lowly and as, as weak as myself, as sinful as myself, being in this place, Mubarak place of Medina Munawwara, if that is not taqdeer, then what exactly would be taqdeer? Muhammad ki azmat ko kya poochte ho? That person who asks of the rank of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we should tell this person, ke wo sahib qab qawsayni tehre. That there is that individual whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Najm described him as being فَكَانَ قَابَ قَوْسَيْنِ أَوْ أَدْنَى On the night of Mi'raj, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in very close proximity and most scholars mentioned that here the pronouns are referring to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam and apart from that we know that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was hosted past a particular place where even Jibreel alayhi salam himself could not even go and this is the next line where he says Bashar ki sare arsh mehmane wazi that for a mortal to be hosted by the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was in such close proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya azmat mahi heto fir or kya hai if this is not something great if this is not a great status of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then what would we classify as a great status? Jo aasi ko kamli me apni chupale This Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such a person who covered the sana with his own cloak meaning that when he came across or when a sinful person came to him he covered the faults of the sinful person Jo dushman ko bi zakham khakar duade and it was this very Nabi who even who prayed for even his own enemies we know the famous incident of Ta'if where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was stoned out of the city and when the angels came as per the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ready to wipe out and destroy the entire city Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said no perhaps someone from their progeny will accept Islam and that was obviously a realization of that particular statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Usay or kya naam dega zamana what else can the universe call a quality like this ye rehmat nahi to fir or kya hai that if that this is sheer mercy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if it is not the mercy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then what can we call it? Qiyamat ke ek din mu'ayyan halakin. The day of Qiyamah will occur and is stipulated to occur on a particular day. Hamare liye har nakas hai Qiyamat. Madine se hamja nisaaron ki duri. Qiyamat nahi hai to fir or kya hai. That even though Qiyamah is stipulated to occur on a particular day, those people who yearn for visiting the blessed city of Medina Munawwara and for them to be so distant and so far from the blessed city of Medina Munawwara and the grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this is a piece and a small portion of torment and we can call it something like our small qiyamah our, our bit of torment being so far away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then he addresses himself and he says Tum iqbal ye naat ke kehto rahe ho That oh you iqbal you are singing these couplets You are rendering and you are writing these couplets Magar ye bhi socha ke kya kar rahe ho But have you thought about exactly what you are doing Kaha tum kaha madhe mamdu e yazdan Who are we to 
voice the praise of such a being whom Allah himself is praising. That this is boldness from our side to think that we can praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how he ought to be praised. We can never ever praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how he ought to be praised because Allah himself has praised Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.